For a sixth year, CBS 6 is partnering with Boomer Magazine to showcase several local people, six this year, honoring them for what they do to make our community a better place to live. They're profiled in the December-January issue of the magazine, which is available now. And all this week here on Virginia This Morning, we'll be getting more of the story behind this year's honorees. First up, Dr. Baxter Perkinson, a longtime local dentist who discovered he had a great talent for painting, and he uses that talent for the good of the community, donating hundreds, if not thousands, of canvases over the years to raise money for charities and organizations. And you may have noticed a couple of local buildings bear his name, the Performing Arts Center at Trinity Episcopal School and one of the dental buildings at the VCU Medical Center downtown. We welcome Dr. Baxter Perkinson here to Virginia this morning. Good morning, doctor, and congratulations. Thank you for having me. You're very welcome. I have to say, I interviewed you almost 20 years ago. That's the first time I met you, and we were talking about your painting, and at that time, you'd been doing it for several years. Tell the story for people who don't know it, um, how you got started painting. I was uh, 35 years old. I had never painted, wasn't interested in it, and my wife encouraged me to take a class. I took a class in watercolor, and after about a year of lessons, I just decided I really love to do it. And like most things, if you love to do it, you learn to do it. And uh, at that point, I hadn't had any reason to sell any paintings. And so I made a commitment right then that I would never sell one. And so over the years, anybody that asks for one that's a charitable cause gets one. And of course, employee birthdays and grandchildren's parties and you know these uh, these paintings hang in so many buildings here in the Richmond area you gave a couple of hundred of them I understand to the nursing school yes ma'am in fact the show was called uh, 206 in 206 <laughs> and we've done uh, paintings for the dental school and for the acute care hospital and Trinity School and uh, they're out there now, you said you decided that you would never sell one. Was it because you didn't think you could sell them, or did you just decide then that this was going to be your way of giving back to the community? Well, at the point, I wouldn't be what you'd call a good painter. Uh -huh. So it'd be presumptuous for me to say I'd never give, I'd never sell one. But at the time, I was having so much fun giving them away and doing that sort of thing with them that I decided then that uh, I would never sell them because of the joy I got from giving them away. Mm -hmm. And then when I found this uh, added Evan, uh, chance to raise money for charitable causes, I mean, a lady would come to me from work uh, and she was selling two dozen chocolate chip cookies mm -hmm. for her auction. And I could give her one of my paintings and it would be worth, you know, dozens and dozens of cookies. Right. And so the next thing you know, I was on people's list. And so we started getting phone calls for the art. And so now I have a, as big a business taking care of my art contributions as I do taking care of my dental contributions. How close is philanthropy to your heart? Because you do give so much to the community. As we mentioned, you give to Trinity Episcopal School for their Performing Arts Center. Uh, you've got a lot of other charities that you support. Well, it doesn't occur to me, since I have more than I need, to give back. And I'm lucky enough that I got to experience that, find out what that feels like. And then after two or three years of this system of giving back and getting feedback from the community and people coming back for another one, and that uh, it became uh, not just a love, but a hobby and an adventure. And it was just exciting to see how many I could paint in one day or how many I could sell in one day or how many I could uh, give away in one day. So you, do you ever think about how many homes in this area have your paintings inside? <laughs> uh, I have thought about it. It's a hard way to know. The Richmond Times Dispatch did a story on me uh, about seven, eight years ago, and best they could estimate, I had given $4 million worth of my original watercolors to charitable groups in Richmond. 
That's got to feel really good. It feels wonderful. <laughs> and I know family and your employees are very close to your heart. A couple of your children work uh, with you in your practice. Uh, when you started 45 years ago as a dentist, um, did you ever think that your life would be at this point at this point? Not at all. I have four children, three are dentists, one's a nurse practitioner. When I finished dental school, I was just like any other poor dentist that finally finished dental school and was so relieved to have it behind them. It didn't occur to me to have more than one dental office at one time. And everything that happened to me in my profession, both in art and dentistry and politics and wherever else I've been, all happened as a nuance, and it, it didn't happen because I planned it. It just did. Sometimes you just have to hold on and take the ride. Yes, ma'am. Dr. Baxter Perkinson, thank you so much for joining us today. I enjoyed it myself very and much. You're very welcome, and congratulations on being a Boomer Magazine Boomer and Shaker. Well, that makes me happy. <laughs>